Hello, my name is Paul Sutherland, and today I would like to try to demonstrate some uses for the vertical knee lever that lowers the fifth string on the E9 tuning a half a tone. Most people have it as a vertical. You may not have it vertical. It may be in a different place on your steel. That doesn't really matter. But I'm going to call it the vertical lever because that's where it is on mine. Uh, for today's purposes, we're going to use the key of C, just for simplicity. If we play the notes, uh, we have the, the C major triad on strings, uh, uh, well, four, five, and six. And when we hit that knee lever, we're lowering the fifth, the half tone, inflating a flat five. Not particularly useful by itself, but you can alternate between that and raising the fifth with the A floor pedal. So you can create some movements in your music. And you can do that uh, also at the no pedal position for the four chord, so the F. And you could do that at the no pedal position for the five chord, the G. In fact, the uh, together again lick. That's what it is. Now, it's not, I don't believe that's the way Tom Bremley played it, because I don't think he had this lever. He played it a different way, but that's the way it's commonly played by people who do have the lever, because it works very well. Okay. Um, more useful is to use this vertical lever to create a ninth chord. And from the open position, the no pedals position, you slide down two frets and engage the knee lever. And you, what you, when you do that, if I, if I just analyze the strings three, four, and five, well, five is a three, uh, three is a dominant seventh, a flat seventh, and uh, I'm sorry, four is a dominant seventh, and three is the second interval because we, the second interval of the C scale. When the second interval is above the dominant seventh, it's called a ninth. So that's a ninth chord. That would be a C ninth chord. Well, if we go to the F chord, F, the F major position, we can do the same thing. And we go to the um, G chord position at the 15th fret. We can do the same thing there. Slide down two frets and make a G ninth. The ninth chord suggests that the song is going to change to another chord. If you're, if it's the one, one to a one nine, the next chord is usually a four chord. If the chord is the five chord. And then you go to a, you, you go so here a G, G's the five chord of C, G9, it suggests you're going to return to the tonic or to the C, to the one. Any lick you can play going from one to four, you can play that same lick going from five to one, you just start in a different place. And you just have to figure out where to start and then everything you learn for a lick, a one to four lick, you already know how to play it then to go from five to one. You just have to find out where you start. Okay. If you can, um, you, one thing that's really helpful is to figure out just, just some, some phrasing things. And let me just try to give you a few simple phrasing things. One is I call the bump and slide. You hear it, one. You heard what I did. I just bumped that lever, the, the vertical, while I was still on the eighth fret, and then I slid down. You can do the same thing at the four position or the five position. Now, um, another thing is you can you can. We'll do those kind of swoopy dro dropping things, just sliding. You just 
figure out whatever picking patterns work. Just think that uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna start on the eighth fret, and then you're gonna slide down to the seven with the with the lever on, and then down to the sixth. And as I said, if you can do that. Uh, there, uh, going from the 1 to the 4 chord, you can do that same thing when you're going from the 5 to the 1 chord. Okay. You can also, if you can get to this ninth chord by sliding down 2 frets, you can also get to it by sliding up 3 frets from the pedals down position. Well, pedals down position C would be here at the 3rd fret. So I, I went from a C chord to an F chord. I went from this, the pedals down C position to the pedals down F position. And in between was this uh, C ninth at the sixth fret with the vertical lever. And now at the, from the fifth chord. I did the same thing. I, I did the same lick that I did from the 1 to 4 chord. I did it from the 5 to the 1 chord. Okay, okay now um, let's go the other way. Uh, instead of making a ninth chord, we're going to go from the no pedals position and we're going to go up. We're going to go up three frets and bring in that vertical lever. Now, that chord sounds very different. And I thought that chord sounds like some sort of passing chord. Uh, how do I resolve this? That's what I came up with. So it's all in strings three and four. And so it's eighth, eighth fret, no pedals. Eleventh fret with the vertical. To the thirteenth um, fret with the knee lever that lowers the fourth string a half tone, the E lower. And then hold that lever on, hit A and B floor pedals. And then take A and B off, still holding the knee lever on. And then resolve down to no pedals, no levers. And I'm dropping down a set of strings, so I'm on strings 4, 5, and 6. So. Well, that was my idea, but I didn't know what to call that second chord at the 11th fret. So I started a thread on the forum called, What Chord Is This? And I got a lot of different answers, and I'm still not really sure what the chord is. But regardless, um, some good ideas. Uh, Jim Robbins said, well, how about from that 11th fret, with that vertical lever on, slide one more fret up, and then resolve on the 13th fret. Here's what that sounds like. And that's pretty good. Well, I... I plotted out the notes, and what's happening at the 12th fret with that vertical lever on is it has now become a 13th chord. And so you have, um, I believe it's a 3, you have a dominant 7th, and you have a 6th on top, which makes it a 13. Well, a 13th chord commonly substitutes for a 7th or a 9th, 13th, they're all, they're all kind of transitional chords. You can go Um, you can go straight from the 8th fret to the 12th fret with the vertical to the 13th fret with no pedals, and you've made the transition. Or you can add the step at the 11th fret. Whatever the phrasing, whatever works out with your phrasing. just did the 13th chord there, going from the 5 to the 1. So the 5 chord at the at, uh, 3rd fret, hit the 13th chord, 13th chord at the 7th fret, and then resolved on the 8th fret with no pedals on C. I like it. And then we had one more idea that really struck me, and this came from Norway, from Bengt Erlinson. And he said, use the F lever and then the vertical. 
And what he described was eighth, oh, I'm going to demonstrate on strings three, four, and five. Eighth fret, no pedals. Ninth fret with the F lever, raising this fourth string a half tone. Uh, tenth fret with F lever. Eleventh fret with F lever. Twelfth fret with vertical. And then thirteenth fret with no pedals. Well, remembering that whatever you can do from one to four, you can do the same thing from five to one, just starting at a different place. Well, starting on the fifth, you we would start. Um, let's, well, we'll start. Well, we'll start down here at the third fret. Open G. Whoops. Well, now we've gone every fret from the third fret to the um, 13th, all we need to do is fill in that little gap, the, and that's the gap between the 4th 4 chord and the 5 chord. Well, that's not too hard to fill in. Uh, it's almost, you know, you just, there's something you can do in there. So basically you can do a run covering an entire octave, hitting every single fret, and it, it sounds pretty passable. I don't even know exactly what I did, but um, hopefully this will get you started on using the F, I mean the um, the fifth string vertical lever. Good luck.